We're standing at the Sabo Bridge on the Midtown Greenway in South Minneapolis. It was built back in 2007. It carries about 2,500 bicyclists a day. It costs $5 million to build. The reason why we built the bridge is so that cyclists would not have to cross a seven lane major highway at grade. The bridge itself is, is named after my former employer, Congressman Martin Sable, and I did spend uh, 19 years working for him here in his district office in Minneapolis. We came up with the idea that we would try to create a, a bridge up and over Hiawatha to try to avoid the, the many traffic mishaps that would happen with bicyclists going across the street. The Sable Bridge did not need to look quite so beautiful or quite so spectacular. But uh, we just believe in doing that here in Minneapolis. The infrastructure should really be celebrated. You know, when you really think about fountains in cities or bridges. I think part of the reason why it does look so beautiful is because we had um, an engineering challenge with this, with this bridge. We had to get between, I'm, I'm pointing over toward a large power line up high and a light rail line down below. And the light rail line, of course, runs on electricity, so they have overhead wires as well. And that's the reason for the cable stayed bridge. It's not the quickest route to get from point A to point B, but I usually take the bridge unless I'm in a really furious hurry because it is just so much fun to kind of go up there and you know, it's got the, the gentle incline and you get to zoom down on the other side and it's just cool looking. The evening view of the Sabo Bridge is not only inspiring to bicyclists and walkers using it, but to the drivers underneath who I hope are saying, wow, I should be on top of that beautiful bridge. It's gorgeous. I suppose it's like looking at the Niagara Falls or something, you know, you just, in cycling, we don't have many featured bridges like this. So it's like coming up to a major interstate passway that, on a car, except you're on a bike. When you're kind of, you feel like you're the king of the road when you're up there. I see a lot of people just sitting up, maybe they just walked up there to sit up there. I mean, it's just, there's something about the design of that bridge that this is not just about moving people, but it's kind of about moving their souls a little bit too. On a beautiful day in the summer, you probably get, you know, anywhere from five to six thousand uh, bicyclists who ride over this bridge. Uh, you know, there's been some criticism about the amount of money that we spend on some of these bicycle facilities, particularly when they're off-road facilities, they're dedicated trails. But when you do the head count and you really do the, the cost-benefit analysis, compare that to how much money we put into the transportation infrastructure for cars, the, the benefit uh, and just in terms of transportation, in terms of connecting communities, in terms of livability, quality of life, and how it makes people feel about where they live, uh, it's just, it just can't even be compared.